Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for ID People. I'm here at the Wise Media's sixth EMEA event in Abu Dhabi, and I'm joined by Stan Schrocker from Data Logic. Stan, thank you very much Hello. for joining me. Good to see you. Thank you. Good to be uh, here. You're going to be presenting this afternoon in the uh, retail e-commerce uh, session and talking about logistics. Logistics just seems to be something that's growing and growing in terms of importance, but also complexity. How do you manage all of that? Well, I, I data. Uh, information from end to end is mm -hmm. going to be so much more important as in the future. And when we talk about it, we're not just talking about package information as far as barcode information or the weight or the dimension, but it's the image itself. And it's going to be the, all the other data that it surrounds it. So we can, so it's going to be important for the logistics mm -hmm. companies to take this data and take it to, the, to become more competitive and take it to their, make it more of their advantage yeah. versus their competition. And technology seems to be enabling us to do some, some pretty smart stuff, RFID and, mm -hmm. uh, and different things. And it seems to be more and more important to actually interrogate the product rather than just track it. So not just where is that product, but is it intact? Is it in the right environment? Absolutely. Has it been interfered with? Absolutely. We have customers who now, want to, as, a, as their packages go through their network, mm -hmm. our products scan them, save the image, so that they can do exactly what you just said. Mm -hmm. They want to interrogate to find out is something happening in their network mm -hmm. that's damaging the product? Yeah. Are they able to basically react to a problem before the customer even knows yeah. about it? So, so it is changing. and and time it's just happening so fast mm -hmm. so companies today they need to be able to be very very proactive of yeah. trying to understand not just the logistics part of it but the retail part of it mm -hmm. right because with e-commerce customer retail to the consumer the whole mix of what you're shipping also mm -hmm. changes where you had a lot of products now you have small orders going to different homes and a lot more homes throughout yep. the world, more global. Mm. So there's all those issues in supply chain security. I, I came across a really cute thing in terms of supply chain. A couple of weeks ago, or last week in fact, I went into an Apple store to buy uh, new headphones. Mm -hmm. And I was told, actually, if I downloaded the Apple store's own app onto my iPhone, I could scan my own barcode. I could pay mm -hmm. from it Absolutely. through my iTunes account. And, and I could walk out the store with it. That just seems kind of counterintuitive to me because you know there's the things on the door that are going to alarm if I don't pay for things. So I guess the data supply chain is now getting as complicated as the as the logistics you're actually dealing. With. Absolutely, there's there's multiple facets that all have to work together now. So you have the consumer start there. You have the retailer who wants to sell it. You have logistics, which we talked about, but you also have the financial end. Mm. And, you know, with mobility and the iPads and pa tablets and everything mm. now, the customers want to make it easier. So all of those different areas have to work together to be mm. successful in the future. And that brings me on to interoperability. That's kind of key to make all these, all these structures work. Who is kind of governing that interoperability? Who is making sure that happens? Is anybody? From the logistics side, from connecting all that data up, really? I, I, it's basically done independently by the large mm. lo logistics companies, okay. parcel companies. They all have their own way and their own strategy of how to win and to go to market. So it does vary mm. from the business that we do and, and where we provide them with auto identification or these um, systems mm. that we put together. It varies per customer. Okay. So it, it does make it challenging yeah, as, yeah. as one of their suppliers. And, and government has a role in that as well, I guess, because as this product goes from manufacturer to eventually to me as a consumer, it goes through a number of borders, oh, tax absolutely. tariffs. There's all kinds of data that they need to draw from that supply chain as well. And the logistics companies mm. that are going to be successful are going to be able to manage that seamlessly for mm. the customer. Yeah. That's going to be the biggest challenge. Yeah. And, uh, and, we, and it, your role is putting together our, structures and... Our role is basically taking the identification of the packages, doing some of the sorting and the tracking of those packages through the network, 
collecting that data. Mm. Now, each customer does something differently with yeah. the data, but our goal is to give them as much information as we can, minimize the errors they have with actually sorting their product, and then letting them take it to the next step. Mm. And what is the next step? What does the future look like for, for your business? More complexity? Well, complexity, I think if you look at technology, a lot of it is becoming more readily available. Five years ago, robotics, you wouldn't think of in typical logistics mm. um, applications. And we're seeing it now, mm. palletizing, depalletizing, mm. and so forth. It was very complex, expensive, and what we're seeing from the outside looking in is that the price has come down, the um, quality of the robots have come down. So we're seeing a change there. That's yeah. one area that we've seen a change in the last few years. So that's become more almost commoditized in terms of, of driving price down, making it more affordable. Well, I think people that would always look at using one type of technology or sortation now have some options. Mm. And so it, again, it, it, it's whoever takes advantage of these different technologies yeah. and integrates, it's going to be the winner. Okay. Well, Stan, thanks for chatting to me. I'm sure it's going to be a fascinating presentation this afternoon, and you'll get even more questions to answer then. So uh, look forward to that, and I hope you enjoy the event. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.